everybody. It's Carly. I don't know if you can see me because I can't see what I'm filming. But if you can see me, we're going to go for a walk. Take a walk and look at some cars. We'll start out with this car. I'll do my Vanna White impression. This is a lovely 39 a Radical Custom Lincoln Zephyr. Recently painted by Gene Winfield before the fifth time. We won't go into that. It causes me PTSD. So. I think I'm on an antidepressant because of it. So anyway, we'll start there. So hang on just a second, and we're going to go ahead and look at some cars. I almost backed into the vendor cart guy. So there's that one. Let's go. All right. Hey, Randy. Randy, Randy. Okay, let's see. I kind of went there yesterday with the Daytona. This thing is crazy. It's got Lambo doors and holy crap, there's all kinds of weird, interesting stuff going on here. Jeez. I'm going to show you this GTX. Then I'm going to go walk around because I, I just got here. I've got the steamer didn't work on the carpet yesterday, so I, I, mean, I bought some clear Gorilla tape. I'm going to try to tape the edges down. My friend Ray Paletti gave me that idea. So, Okay, so now I can see what this car is that I didn't know what it was yesterday, that turquoise one. There's a sign. So let me see. <clears throat> I want to do the walkthrough now because when there's people around, it's too hard to see the cars. And let's see what this is. And I don't have my glasses on again. How do I read this? It's called Angel Eyes. I don't, still don't know what it is. Good God, I don't know. Oh, it's a 52 Chevy hardtop. Okay. How come I've never seen, is this, it must be radically customized. I just don't know. It doesn't, doesn't look like anything I've seen before. <clears throat> okay. We got a Continental here. Uh, we got, we got to go see what this purple is. Because we like purple. Ooh, it's a 2002 Hall of Fame winner. Display only. What is this? What is this? The 52 Plymouth two door suburban. A 52 Plymouth two door suburban. Can you tell me about it? I'm on Facebook Live. Can you tell me about the car? This was the 1999 Custom Rod of the Year. Wow. Uh, been in 2002, got inducted into the Hall of Fame. Oh, sweet. And now it's just a has been. Oh, <laughs> she's had her glory days of the show. So uh, it's gorgeous. In fact, last week, two weekends ago, we showed in Salem, and that was the first time I, I showed for, for uh, competition in 20 years. Oh, my gosh. Wow. The uh, car's been done for 24 years. Wow. It's beautiful. And it's a 52 Suburban. 52 Plymouth, two door Suburban. <laughs> Back here is a little right up there. Okay, so it's got a 440 Chrysler engine. That's a good start. A Nova, Nova front end, um, narrowed, four inches. 727 transmission, nine inch Ford rear end. All right. And what's your name? Gene Ray. Gene Ray? Okay. He's, he's been written up all over. There's all kinds of things about this car. This is absolutely amazing. So, and then if you want to come out to my shop, I got about 300 trophies. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's awesome! This car. Can I walk around? Sure. Okay, you yeah, guys, I'll, take a look at this car. I'll it's it's amazing. Just don't tip over my oh, I won't. I'm watching. I'm just. I'm. Oh, cute dog. Wow, look at this. I love this paint. Holy cow! He's gonna open the hood. He's a better man than I am. I'm not opening my hood, so. Split window. So, he hasn't shown it for 20 years, I guess. You haven't shown it for 20 years? 
Not for competition. Okay. This is what it looked oh. like the day I picked it up. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> It really was a two-door then. Oh, yeah. oh I, I thought you were joking about the two-door. I thought maybe you guys just customized it that way. So they made a Suburban two-door in 52. Yeah. Plymouth. They named Suburban before Chevy did. Okay, because it's a Plymouth. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay, awesome. I've got about almost 6,000 uh, car people that are my, on my Facebook page. So I'm, going, I'm doing a live right now so they can see it. And uh, I had to come look at this car because it really caught my eye. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my. Woo! Look at that. And the hole underneath the car looks just like the top. Oh, you did the whole undercarriage and everything. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. There was no corners cut in this, uh, this build at all. Look at that, you guys. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh. It's just a little... You, it's too much work to get it elevated to show the undercarriage, huh? Well, yeah, we, we do when we show it. Oh, you do? We're not you're not in competition, so you're just displaying. And when you look underneath, there's panels come down the side. Yeah. It says Mayflower. Oh. But it's written upside down, so when I put the mirrors under it, you can read it. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. <laughs> we, we had it all set up um, two weekends ago down at the Salem uh -huh. poster show. Yeah. That's not... It's beautiful. I love That's it. A lot, a lot of work. Oh, I know. These... These shows are a lot of work, I know. It's kicking my rear end. Yes, I have um, this car. It's a 39 Lincoln oh, South. Oh, right. yeah. yeah, that's my. Gene Winfield just painted it. Um, so it's. it's. No, I'm actually from Monroe, Washington. Okay. Yeah. I'm a native Californian, but I bailed on that state in 98 and I never looked back. So we won't start that discussion. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Dang, that thing's cool. 52 Plymouth Suburban? Really? He said that Plymouth used the Suburban name before Chevy did. I wonder how Chevy stole that name from them. They must have had to pay some money. That's all I can think of. Okay. Here's the beaches uh, display still. I can't believe how much work this is. Look at all that sand. I'm gonna have to ask them how much, many tons of sand they bring in. <coughs> this VW is cool. Ian, check out this VW. I know you're going to. All right, and I have seen this car before. It's so cool. I saw this actually at Hot August Nights. That whole roof slides back into the back and uh, all automated. 57, it's a uh, 57 Ford Skyliner. You guys probably already knew that. But man, what innovation in 57. Holy crap. It's a Fairlane 500. Woo! Okay. You guys are writing anything in my comments. I don't have my glasses on and I can't see. So there's that. So I'll check the comments after I do my video. Anyway, I wanted to walk you guys through here because I have energy this morning and I probably won't after today. And um, this is Larry Hansen's car. Is this Larry's car? <laughs> This is Larry Hansen's car, isn't it? It's Larry Hansen's, yeah. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Oh my, look at this. Hang on. There's too many too much eye candy here. I can't uh, decide what I want to what I want to see. It's an Impala. Is that an Impala? There's Larry's caddy. I think I'm in the Cavalcade of Customs. Yeah, there's Mark. Hey, Mark. Hi, Carly. I'm, I'm on Facebook Live. I'm, I'm doing a walkthrough to show everybody the cars. So. And you're going to take a phone call, so I'll talk to you later. Okay, thanks, Mark. Hey, Lewis. Right next to your car. I forgot to go look at this. This car needs some. This needs some time. So, how many cars are in the cavalcade of customs? I think we're about 19 right now. Okay. Not invisible. We got more cars coming. Oh, more. Yeah. 
Are you filling up all of that space? No, just this right through here. We're oh, okay. Push that Cadillac forward. Yeah. Got some center room here. Nice. Now we're from the gold car to marquee to the tables. To okay. The gold Cadillac up there over to the purple hot rod over there. Okay. It's oh. Our area. Wow, that's a lot of area. Yeah, it is 80 by 100. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Are you guys hanging the banner? Are you going to do they a banner? They didn't throw a banner up. Oh, yeah. oh, bummer. Yeah. That was cool. Okay. Oh well. All right. I'm going to I'm going to keep walking. Have fun. All right. Good. See you later. Oh, this is pretty. I would drive this car. This is my kind of car. Whew. Wow. Wow, just wow. 41 Cadillac, Series 62. Whew. Pretty. Okay. So that's the West Coast Customs, Cavalcade of Customs. Um, Mark is the Pacific Northwest rep for West Coast Customs. Here's the beaches thing again. <laughs> this one's a little too high for my taste, but it's pretty. Once you go low, you can't ever go back, apparently. I don't know what's going on. Just think of the clearance you get on that thing, though. Man, you wouldn't have to worry about anything. You would not bottom out, for sure. And I don't know what that's like. Okay, there's the beaches. That's the end of their display. Here we go. <clears throat> Oh my gosh. Hi. I'm on Facebook Live and I've got a bunch of people watching. Could you tell me about your truck? It's a 56 Chev 3100 pickup. It's a Pro Street truck. Um, I've had it for 12 years. Um, it's beautiful. And what kind of horsepower does that thing have? It's pushing almost 900 horsepower. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's insane. You guys, look at this truck. Wow. And what's your name, Leonard Miller? Yes, okay, is. that's Leonard Miller, everybody. So, Leonard has the, the baddest truck in this show, I think. Good God. <laughs> Woo! You don't play, Leonard. You're serious about this. Whoa, man. <laughs> Nasty Daddy, that's cute. Oh, and you've got the foil on the back or whatever they call those little flyer things what are they how come i can't think i'm old thank you they're what are they i can't even think of it oh well whatever i'm just old i just don't even try to question it anymore just go with it <clears throat> this is pretty This is a 32 Ford Roadster. He's got some serious lighting in this thing. He doesn't have it on, but man, that's some big lights. Badass 32, that's what it says on the valve cover. Okay. All right, this is a Chevy. Isn't it, is this an Impala? What is this? Oh, it's a Galaxy. Galaxy. Hi, I'm on Facebook Live. Can you tell me about this car? This is a 1963 Galaxy convertible. Oh. On a roadster shop, roadster shop chassis. Oh, that's unusual. It is. <laughs> wow. Super, super cool car. Wow, it's beautiful. Thank you. How long have you had it? I built the car in 21 weeks. I'm out of Spokane. Oh my god, 21 weeks with no sleep, I, I'm assuming. 
Sleep, sleep when you're dead. I like it. What's your name? I'm Jeff. Jeff. Hi, I'm Carly. Nice I'm I'm from Monroe. I've got the the Zephyr over there. Very okay. nice car. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, but this is beautiful. Thank oh you. my God, it's Thank just you. absolutely stunning. Take a look at that, you guys. This car is amazing. How do you build a car in 21 weeks? Holy crap. I can't even get Winfield to put paint in the gun for 21 weeks. Jesus, how does that guy do that? Okay, but I digress. Okay, here we go, here we go. Here we go. This is pretty. Oh, he's got the angel hair going on. He's traveling light. I like that idea. It says all glass, custom cut to fill the chop top. Okay, so they still did a split window. Wow. 51 Merc Crown Princess Sedan. I'm about ready to bail on my carpet and start using rock salt again. That carpet is a pain in the ass. But I spent so much money on it, I don't even... I've got to use it a few times. Ugh. You kind of lose your mind when you start thinking about displays and stuff, and then you see all these really extravagant ex displays, and you got to up your game, and it just gets out of control. So you go and spend $3,200 on a carpet that you can't even flatten out at a show because it's rolled up. And my, the carpet guy told me, this is a 37 Chevy Master Deluxe, by the way. My carpet guy told me, well, what you need to do to get it to flatten out is to roll it out and lay it in the sun. You know, just lay it out there in the sun for a few days. I said, dude, I live in Monroe, Washington. We get sun like seven days out of the year. And the rest is rain. So that's not going to happen. That's not a possibility for me. Look at this. This is Jerry Logan's truck. It's called Sticks. Jerry Logan has a lot of cars. And... None of them are shabby at all. They're all top-notch builds. Like his display, that's gorgeous. It's probably $20,000. And this guy's is cleaning the display and everything. So. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's continue on. <clears throat> Well, this is pretty. Whose car is this? Cody Walls. It's beautiful. What is it? It's a 49 Buick. Okay. Is that Cody? Yep. Okay, I'm going to go talk to him. Hey, Cody. My name's Carly. I'm on Facebook Live. i got a bunch of car people watching. Can you tell me about your car? Uh, yeah, it's a 49 Buick Sedanette. Uh, it's been suctioned, chopped, and a lot of work done. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Wow. Take a look at this, you guys. This is unbelievable. Woo! Oh, the car, it says it's 15 inches lower than the stock. The B pillars were leaned to five degrees. The door handles were shaved. Nice, that's classy, I like that. The body was sectioned two inches. Custom tail lights. The guards were reshaped around the bumper. Look at that bumper. Wow, that flows, nice. Beautiful. So pretty. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> 
sorry. Yeah, no, it's all good. Wow. Oh yeah, if I had that engine, I'd pop my hood too. At least at night. I still wouldn't do it during the day. It would look so much better if he didn't pop the hood. It breaks up the body lines. Use your imagination with the flow of the car, but this is what I mean about popping the hood. No, it's just a big no for me. But I am going to take everyone's advice because people told me I should just pop the hood at night. I've got literally nothing under there. It's like a tribe of chipmunks under my hood. It's a 350. Nothing to get excited about. Here's a 48 Chevy. Thrift Master. Anyway, I am going to... Uh, I'll pop the hood. Open a door. A door that doesn't close tight half the time anyway because nobody can figure out what's wrong with the hinges even though they rebuilt them um, so nobody can fix it and it's a 50-50 crapshoot when you shut the door on the passenger side if the door is going to go flush with the car or not so there's a little prayer you say before you close the door and sometimes God answers it and sometimes he doesn't stacks Did I call it sticks earlier? I don't know. I think I need more caffeine. Okay. <clears throat> the root of all evil. It's a root beer brown. 66 Nova. <laughs> okay. Here's another pavilion. We'll go over to this one. And then there's a third pavilion after that. So... I want to get this done, so I'm going to do the whole, the whole show, so you guys can see everything. Uh, show days with with doesn't work. It's not good. Okay. And we got the Corvette. We got the whole generations of Corvettes. So start with the '54. We've got a 65. I kind of like that 54. And we got a 77. And something behind the mystery curtain here is a 94. <coughs> and then we've got a 2002. I like that one. I'm not sure what year this one is, but it's pretty. Great. Did they ever get uh, 2017. And a 2020. Yeah. Ooh, that 2020 is kind of takes your breath away. I've never been a Corvette person, but if I was, I would drive that. But it wouldn't be orange. I've had enough of orange for my life, lifetime. Okay, I've seen this truck before. This thing blows your mind. <clears throat> no, you're not seeing things. It really is upside down. Illusion. And the badging is upside down. This is cool. Hi, Oe. It's it's Carly. I'm I'm videoing on the show for everybody on uh, Facebook. So. Oh, cool. Facebook Live. Yeah, I'm on oh. Facebook Live, so I'm gonna post it later. Right on. So this is the one you're doing today, huh? Yeah. yeah this one, and I have to do the hood on the one that I didn't get a chance oh. to finish it because oh. we brought it here a day early. So. Oh, I'm gonna go over there and check it out. Yeah, working on the hood on that and just polishing this whole thing out. So he wants uh. to sell it. Oh, he does. Yeah. Huh? What is it? It's a Camaro. It's a special edition. Okay. Um, very what? limited number run. Oh. Model. What year is it? It could be an O2. Okay. It's right around there. Okay. If it's not. All right. All right, I'm going to keep moving. I'll catch up with you later. All right. All right. Yeah, same here. 
There's a 70-year-old lady that owns this car. He was setting up. He does setups for people. Apparently, I'm not in that bracket, but I need to find out how much somebody charges you to set up your car. Because <laughs> I could use that, but I don't think I'm in the right tax bracket for having somebody set up my car. But there's a 70-year-old lady that owns this car. You go, girl. Oh, orange everywhere you go. No, no more orange. This one's pretty though. I like the color. <clears throat> Got some Camaros over there and a Chevelle. Off in the distance. The fair lane. Oof, too close. T-Bird. I like those wheels. <clears throat> Wonder how much it costs to have somebody set up your car. I'm gonna have to check into that. It's just gonna make me depressed because I can't afford it. That's why I don't go to Nordstrom's because, you know, I shop at Walmart <laughs> and I can't afford Nordstrom's. So. That's just the way it goes. Some people have money and some don't. But I've got all this bubbling personality, so you know, I at least I have some. <laughs> and I'm being sarcastic. You guys know I'm very sarcastic. Okay, 58 Merc Voyager two-door wagon. Wow, that thing is long. Holy crap. Here's a 56 Imperial. That's pretty. Oh, for your motorcycle people, here's a couple of bikes. Okay, look at this thing. <laughs> Sixty-five Chevelle Malibu. Okay. Thirty-seven Plymouth. Steve's dad had one of these. Except it was the van version of this. What is this? Corvadillac. Corvadil Corvair pickup with a 1996 Cadillac drivetrain. Wow. A few modifications on that one. Heck yeah. This is pretty. What is this? <laughs> Chevy. Oh, it's a Ford Business Coupe. 1946 Ford Business Coupe. So I found out I used to have a 41 Chrysler Business Coupe before I got the Zephyr, and I found out um, about Business Coupes. And they only were two seaters. And then there's a huge trunk because. Those were the used car, or not used car, the salesmen, the car, not car salesmen, the salesmen who went door to door selling vacuums and things like that, or pots and pans, before they had all this, you know, online stuff with all the stores and everything. They used to just go door to door in the 40s, 30s, knock on people's doors and try to sell them pots and pans or whatever, or vacuum cleaners. Or whatever else you might need. So, oh, this is pretty. Huh. 
Hi, I'm on Facebook Live. Can you tell me about this beautiful car? Okay, can you tell me about your car? I'm on Facebook Live. It's it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Tell me about it. Well, it's a uh, Ford, three window. I found it in the barn. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, we finished it off. Oh. And, uh, How long did it take to finish it? There's, uh, there's probably about a year and a half. That's all? Oh, that's good. That yeah, is good. It started in 2007. Okay. And 2010 was the last time it was, it was parked in the barn. Okay. And uh, at that time on, uh, the fellow passed away. Oh. And, uh, I think he'll be happy to wait. Oh, it. I'm sure he will be. Goodness. Yeah. It's be What's your name? Don Simmons. Don Simmons. I'm Carly. Hi, nice to meet you. Carly. I'm going to walk around and show everybody the car. You, you guys, check this out. He actually found it in a barn. Oh, my God. This thing is breathtaking. See, he's got his carpet all taped down. That's what I'm going to do with the clear tape on mine when I get back to my car. Wow. Oh, man, that's pretty. <laughs> Got these guys and these things driving around. Wow. Wow, that is so pretty. That's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. That was a Riviera. I don't know about you guys, but when I go to a car show, after I see about the first 30 cars, my mind kind of goes numb and I'm like... It loses the stun factor on me for some reason. I don't know why that is. Here's a 36 Ford. <sighs> anyway, you just see one thing after another, and it keeps getting better and better, and you forget to look at the little simple cars, which is not good. <clears throat> oh, they got quite a setup there. Is a Galaxy? What is this? Oh yeah, it's a Galaxy sedan, no, Country sedan, Galaxy's Northwest, it's a 63 Country sedan. <clears throat> I like Galaxies. This is a 63 Sport Roof, it says. Tell me about your car. How long have you had it? Oh, the better part of 40 years. Oh, really? Yep, yep. What's your name? Uh, Steve Thomas. Steve, I'm Carly, and I'm doing Facebook Live, so I've got oh. a bunch of people watching. Okay, oh, so, poor, poor yeah. people. Yeah, no, no, no. no. <laughs> You've had 40 years, that's yeah. amazing. And yeah. do you drive it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, I drive, drive a lot. Good. Yeah. Where are you yeah. from? Portland. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. This is a local show for you. Yeah, it yeah. is. It is. So just a little bit of rain that way. Yeah. Not too much. Yeah. That's nice. It's beautiful. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Thank you. This is the. These are all uh, Starliner. These are all Galaxy. Can you tell me about this car? Sure. Okay. What's your name? Bob. Hi, Bob. I'm Carly. I'm on Facebook Live, so I got a bunch oh, of people okay. watching. Okay. So don't say any bad words. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your car. It's a Ford 1961 Starliner. Look at that. Mm. I've uh, never seen one of these like yeah, this. They, they made them in 1960 uh -huh. and 1961. Oh, okay. And they produced 62,994 in 60. Wow. In 61, there was a downturn in the economy. Uh huh. They only made 29,900. Oh, that's quite a difference. In oh. 61. Wow. I like the 61 better. I think it has a better look. Yeah. Uh, well, you lucked it, out. It's a resto mod car. It's, it's got a. It, it's beautiful. In it and oh, a nice. 406 engine. So you move pretty quick. Uh huh. <laughs>
It's really pretty. It's, huh. The paint color is a PPG oh. color. It's called Lemon Ice. Oh, I like it. It's not a factory color. Okay. Yeah, I've never seen one this color at all. I've never. I don't think I've ever seen one of these at all. Um, do, uh, do you um, you drive it? Oh yeah, all yeah, the time and I don't drive it in the crummy way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. Right. But but you're doing this. Where where are you from? Vancouver. Oh okay. So you're close by. I'm from Monroe, Washington. So oh, okay. yeah. All right. Okay. This I can is go pretty. Find, I'll find a guy with well, thank you. Appreciate it. Sixty-one Starlight. I was going to ask him how long he's had it. That's I my mind just gapped out. I think dementia is setting in. I don't know. Here's a 69500. This is pretty. This is the galaxy I like this this year. This is the my favorite year. Yeah, so this one's okay. This one needs to go. Nova 64 Nova. Here's a 63 galaxy. These are all galaxies in here. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> okay, let's keep moving. We're almost on to the next. I think there's only one more room to go. There's still cars coming in today. There's still people moving in. But for the most part... I'd say it's 80% filled up. <coughs> AMX, these are nice. I like these. 68. I graduated in 1973, so these cars, Superbirds, Daytonas, Chevelles, GTOs, GTX, AMX, these were all over. Camaros up the yin yang, there was no end to them. Nobody knew then what we know now. I could have been really rich if I would have played my cards right. But that didn't happen, so. <laughs> Okay. Oh my, we gotta walk past cases of Girl Scout cookies. This could be dangerous. I like that little pedal car. You guys don't have any of those raspberry cookies, do you? The ones they're talking about? Those were online only. Yeah. And I think they completely sold Oh, out. they did. I already tried the online. I... Yeah, they, you know, it was either way. It was either they either really liked it or they really didn't. Yeah. I heard people are buying them and selling them on eBay for a lot of money. A lot, yes, yes, I did. I heard it on the news. It's yes, true. It is. Yes, that is the case. <laughs> now, like I said, I'm not a, I was on the other side of the... I you, did, you, the you weren't impressed? Really, yeah. To each his own. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I mean, I'm, a, I'm just like a classic Girl Scout cookie lover. Yeah. Like this most yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Well, I, I try to jazz that too much. Just... <laughs> <laughs> All right. So they've got, they're serious about their cookies. Wow. All right, we'll bring my money back. Okay, and this is the last building. There's not a whole lot over here. There's a few. Anyway, we'll go see. We'll see what's going on. <coughs> Oh, this looks like a sad building. There's not a whole lot of energy in this one. It's a sad building. Oh wait, there's another building over there. We'll go on that one too. <laughs> Goofy grape. Hey, Lucky, I can read. You said thanks for sharing. No problem. I always feel bad if I don't, you know, show you guys some of the show because I know a bunch of you aren't out here. 
just like I like to see um, the shows back east because I don't ever get to those so you know these are all race car stuff Got a tank over here. I'd like to drive that to Modesto and use it one time. And that's all I'm going to say. <clears throat> if you know, you know. <sighs> okay, we're going to kind of go through this one. This is a sad building. It's not. It's where the cast-offs go. Willamina, here's your truck. Hey, these guys are so cool. Gene did a metal shop with Willamina High School in Oregon. I went with him. And these guys built this trailer. These kids are amazing. Uh, they are absolutely uh, the kids are so talented, and TJ is their instructor. He's from Texas, and they say y'all a lot, which is cool. And uh, if you guys have a chance, go follow Willamina High School and um, see what they're doing, because there's not very many uh, high schools that offer auto restoration and auto building these kids are learning learning at a young age so they're going to be our new future so go support them they're, everyone's so cool there they're amazing well it's not a sad building anymore because Willamina High School's here so that makes up for it it'll get a little perkier by the time the show starts tomorrow Okay, it looks like this is the last room here. Looks like a bunch of trucks, off-road things. God, it's cold in here. Jeez. I think they could afford some heat. <coughs> oh, this, is, this is a sad room. This must be where they're doing the... I guess this is where they'll do the trophies at the end of the show because it looks like they're setting up a stage over there so oh these are all the off-road polaris things and all that okay well i think i don't need to walk all the way down here i'm unimpressed i have to admit it see i've got the i'm the shop value is worn off on me, apparently. There's a ra razor. Okay, I'll walk down here because I kind of want to see what this old truck is down here. <clears throat> Look at these with the camper things on them. That's cool. Wow, that's a setup. I want to see. This is the one I want to see. It looks like a Willie's. What is this? Is it a Willie's? Or as they say on Barrett Jackson, Willis. I always say Willie's, but they say Willis on Barrett Jackson and Meek. It is a Willie's, isn't it? 42? I have no idea. I'm guessing. Okay. All right, you guys. This is the end of the line. A bunch of trucks, four-wheel drives. Some are really cool, though. <clears throat> Sand rails. They got it all. <clears throat> 1940 Chevy Master Deluxe.
All right. Oh, there's a Batmobile. I missed that. I didn't walk all the way down this other room, so I'll go see what that is. It's probably a replica, but that's okay. This guy's signing off the car, so when you come in, they have to make sure you have a brake cut off or your battery is disconnected from uh, the car cables or whatever. And you have a quarter of a tank or less of gas. They check all that. And then they sign you off, and then you can go get your goodie bag after that. Oh, he said just to disconnect the positive. Oh. You don't have to disconnect the whole battery. I forgot some. That's definitely not the real Batmobile. <clears throat> it's sunny here today. It's still kind of cold. It's like in the 40s. But it's supposed to warm up. It's supposed to get to 62 tomorrow and 64 on Saturday. And then uh, rain on Sunday. And back into the 50s, but that's okay. <clears throat> it's the Pacific Northwest. What do you expect? These are where all the pinstripers are going to be. <clears throat> they do a bunch of striping and then they donate it and they auction it off and use it goes to a really good charity of some sort look at that 53 less lessy auto scooter bumper car reproduction of a 53 bumper car it's kind of cool i had to use that for a grocery getter that would turn some heads There's a 55 Chevy Nomad Gasser. Oh, look at this big, oh, wow. You can drive this? Dave Kendig did this? Radio Flyer, 1956 Radio Flyer Wagon. Wow. I don't know if Dave, did Dave Kendig build it? Built and painted by Robin Guzman. Okay, Dave Kendig's with it. Whew, that's cool. Hey Rusty, I saw your message. I'm I'm being safe. I'm pacing myself. Steve comes in tomorrow about six o'clock, so uh, I'll have some backup. Right now I'm just solo. I see all these cars rolling in here and they got four or five people on their roadie crew. And it's just me and Amelia, and we're just lonely, two little sisters out in the middle of BFE trying to make something happen. <clears throat> and you guys know Amelia is Aftershock, but I call her Amelia still because that was her name before she got painted. Aftershock is her stripper name, and I still call her Amelia because... Uh, Zephyr, if you look up Zephyr, it means Greek God of the West Wind. So when I got the car, I needed a name that was something to do with traveling or a journey or nomadic something. Um, so decided on Amelia because it was named after Amelia Earhart when she circumnavigated the world in 1936. She got lost and her plane crashed, they think, somewhere on an island, near an island. Ran out of fuel, possibly. There's all kinds of stories, but no one really knows. Anyway, uh, she, Amelia Earhart was officially declared dead in January of 1939. And um, so my car is named Amelia because she is reincarnated as the Zephyr. She's still traveling. So here we're back at Ray's Zephyr. This is the 40 Zephyr I showed you yesterday. 
And Richard Zoki car, Marilyn Monroe. This car is amazing. Whew. Art Hemsel was the painter on this. <clears throat> this car is gorgeous. All right, so we have done the full circle. You guys have seen it all. I mean, every stinking car in here almost. So I'm going to see if I can get somebody to help me tape this carpet down because I can't do it by myself. There's just no way. Cosworth, you don't see too many of those. That's Jerry Logan's car, actually. <laughs> okay. All right. We're back to the beast here. Okay, you're looking really hot and sexy there, Amelia, so just keep it up, girl. Do your showgirl thing. And everybody who sees this car, so the first thing they ask is, how do you see to drive out of it? Because the windows are so short. And my plate says it all. I just tell them, go look at the license plate. So there you go. All right. Let's see what I can do with Gorilla Tape and a lot of determination. And then there's a couple of spots on the carpet where people have walked with their dirty shoes. And I plan on getting those spots out. So... Let's do this. <clears throat> all right. Thanks for hanging with me, you guys. I'll post this on Facebook for all the people who weren't around. Wow, look at all this stuff. All the people who weren't around um, to see this live. I'll post it on my... Holy crap. I thought I had a dog and pony show. This guy's got me blown out of the water. Jesus. Woo! Anyway, okay. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good. Oh, I see that. Is this a different pair? It is. Yes, it is. <laughs> There's no end to the sparkles. <laughs> She's talking about my shoes because she saw my shoes yesterday. And I've got some new shoes today. And they're sparkly. So anyway. Okay. I'll put the camera up here. Step back and say goodbye to you guys. Because I have lost almost 65 pounds. So we need to show this off. This was this was a lot of work since August. So I'm not done yet. I think I still have I have 30 pounds to lose still. But anyway, ta -da. oh here's the back of, the back of my jacket. So hopefully you guys can see that, and I will talk to you guys later. I'm out. So bye. See you guys later. Thanks for hanging. Say bye to Amelia. See ya.